All right, got a uh, interesting little mod, just bored one day, decided I'd try this out. Um, that is a Chromecast casting to my G35. Uh, kind of the way got that to work is by using that little input down there. A lot of these G35s have um, an RCA input. For the record, this is a 2008 G35 um, Bose sound system and the navigation package, which kind of sucks because that is like some weird edge case where nobody makes an aftermarket component when you have the navigation system like Grom Audio or anybody like that that would let you go ahead and, um, and, and enable Bluetooth audio and, and media and steering wheel controls and all that. So I got tired of plugging my phone in to listen to my Google Music. Um, so what I did is I bought this guy. This is just a, uh, a HDMI scaler. Uh, it takes that signal from HDMI out of the Chromecast into an RCA and then it goes through that input over there. So, as you can see, uh, it's uh, now popping up on the screen. I think it's good to go. A little bit about how to set it up. Uh, you need to use the hotspot on your phone. Um, that Chromecast needs Wi-Fi, so you need to uh, get it paired up with your, uh, with your phone's hotspot. That's going to require some sort of a third device, like a laptop or a phone or something else. But that's only for the initial setup. So what you'll do is you'll turn on your Wi-Fi hotspot. You're going to connect, like, let's say, a laptop to that hotspot. Uh, and then you'll go into the Chromecast setup mode uh, from that laptop and you'll tell the Chromecast to set itself up on your phone's hotspot. Once you do that, you don't need the laptop or anything else. Um, you've got a Wi-Fi network that your Chromecast can use and your phone can just start casting anything you want to it. So in this case, it's YouTube. Just as easily could it be Google Music. Uh, I actually had Sling up on here as well. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. Um, one thing to note uh, you can see I've got the parking brake on and uh, this car includes a pretty wise safety feature that if I take that parking brake off, the video has gone. The audio is still there. You can still hear the audio, um, but the uh, video cuts out. That's a safety feature, probably a pretty good one. People are pretty bad at driving anyways. They don't need to be watching TV while they do it. Put the brake back on and the, the video comes back on. So here you go, pretty easy. That was about a $19 part on Amazon, a couple cables, and my old Chromecast. There you go.